Welcome back to Cronkite Sports Report. The largest sports and family entertainment park in the country is now in Mesa. And that 320 acre complex provides a space for young athletes to do a lot more than just practice sports. Cronkite Sports Reporter Tyler Rolfs shows us what the park has to offer. Legacy Sports USA is a one-stop shop for athletes and their families in the Valley. From practice to training, concerts to dining, this facility has it all. The goal here at Bell Bank Park, uh, powered by Legacy Sports USA, is to get everything under one roof. An athlete, whether you're a major league player, whether you're a youth athlete, all your services are right here. Legacy Sports offers fitness, performance, and recovery centers with chiropractors, physical therapists, and a hospital on site, along with nearly 200 different fields and courts throughout the complex. Our mission is to provide a safe, unbelievable experience, the best of the best playing facilities for anybody of all play types. Our, our basketball courts are you know, the finest maple wood you can find. Our baseball, we have the same turf that's in Chase Field, at the major league level. Our, Sand Beach Volleyball is right from a riverbed in Kansas, and it's you know, pure white sand. Our soccer fields are FIFA approved. Legacy Sports President Brett Miller says his father, Randy, first imagined the state-of-the-art facility in 1988. It took three decades to come to fruition. Almost 30 years in the making. Um, as you can imagine, there's a lot of things that come along with this. Um, it didn't happen overnight by any means. My dad never gave up on his dream. Randy was inspired by his two sons while they were growing up, traveling across the state playing different sports. Brett's brother Chad now serves as the CEO and working with family makes it a lot easier for the Millers to expand past just the sports aspect of the park and cater just as much effort into family entertainment. Well, this is a great opportunity for parents to drop off their kids and go to a fitness club, get their own workout in. We had all these moms and dads playing and their kids on the sideline just cheering them on, yelling at them, and it, it was amazing. There's a lot of times that a sibling doesn't play another sport, but we have an arcade here. It's a smaller Dave & Buster's, bigger than a fat cat, but right in that, that sweet spot. Then we've got a gymnastic studios on the weekends where kids can go in there and just play on like Ninja Warrior stuff the entire weekend. So it kind of caters to all departments. According to the Aspen Play Project, there has been a 3% drop in both the amount of kids ages 6 through 12 and teenagers ages 13 through 17 who have been physically inactive since 2019. I think there's a lot of room for growth, um, especially on the girls' side, and I think that a facility like Legacy provides so many other programs as well. Bell Bank Park is also becoming the new home of Park University Gilbert Athletics. For the first time, we're going to have a place we can call home. So we're extremely excited about our partnership with Bell Bank Park and, and Legacy Sports, and the opportunity is going to provide us as an institution as we continue to grow. Park University Gilbert is only in its third year of operation and is building its sports programs from the ground up using Bell Bank Park as its athletic facility. An opportunity to create an atmosphere that's much like a college environment where all of our teams are going to be able to practice, they're going to be able to play, they're going to be able to train all in one location. So all of the things that we need to do to train high level athletes and compete for national championships is going to be present at Bell Bank Park. With a lot of traffic coming into the complex, Legacy Sports is expected to help grow the community around it. It's multiple millions of dollars in economic impact. We have just over 500 jobs here already created. Um, there's about 1,500 total with construction. I think that'll do great things for the East Valley, especially a growing community out there, East Mark, Sands Hand Valley. They're building the freeway around our park. There's going to be 10,000 more homes going just east of us. LG Plantation, Google Plant's going to be coming out here, data centers. So it's a city basically being born around our park. Big time tournaments and professional sports have already made their way to the park in only its first three months of being open. Legacy Sports USA projects to generate a boom for the East Valley as it continues to attract big ticket events. In Mesa, Tyler Rolfs, Cronkite Sports Report. Lindsay, that looks like quite the complex. Yeah, they've already hosted events that include Snoop Dogg and former gold medal volleyball player Carrie Walsh Jennings. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun.